Hey guys, welcome back. This is Fun with Fallen Flags, episode 102. My name is Michael McCarville, and today we're going to build the Wild West Scale Model Builders Assay Office. This is HO scale number 207. It's going to look like that. We're actually going to dull ours down a little bit. It's going to be a little bit um, dulled uh, stains on the wood, and then the trim is going to be kind of a, a flat um, olive drab green and gray light light gray windows uh, window and doors so um, this kit is actually pretty cool because it gives you a lot of options not only can you do the interior uh, but it also has a front porch on it uh, we're going to skip that it's going to actually gonna sit next to another building that's going to have a front porch so i want them to look a little bit different and then um, there's a little shed in the back but you can slide the shed around the side and then you give you a door to close up the the doorway hole in the back um, and then you can uh, place this I like the, that look but I think I'm going to simplify it because I want to keep some details on the back side of the structure too and um, I want to show uh, the fronts and the backs with uh, some visual interest too so um, the color that I'm going to use I've used this on a, uh, the last structure and it's a uh, mud puddle is the name of the wood stain it's a kind of a, a almost a dirty uh, weathered brown, and I like the color. It comes out really well. And this is this is from these the same company. So you go to their website. I'll put all the notes for the paints that I use and the links and everything. All that'll be in the uh, links down below for the video. Uh, if you have any questions, so um, and also the colors that I used on the windows and the uh, doors too. So um, refer to that. Um, any ink uh, for the floorboards in the front. So, um, other than that, there's a, a blank wall that you can use instead of a wall with a window. We're not going to use a blank wall. I'll use it on some other uh, structure someday um, because I want the I don't want the blank wall. I want the wall that has a window. Since it has an option to detail the interior, we want to have as many windows as possible. Um, there's also a bunch of different signs. You don't have to make it an assay office. Uh, it comes with a sign for a bank, a saloon. And then assay office, there's three different ones of those. And then there are little gold and silver uh, small signs that you could use to complement that. So these guys put out really good kits and instructions and lots and lots of pictures, which I love. And, um, I mean, you know, the whole back page is nothing but pictures of what you can possibly build and stain it and make it look like. So um, uh, this video is just to complement that, give you a little different idea for some painting schemes and also a little bit different visual view on some of the... Uh, um, the angles and stuff, but um, like I said, you don't need to watch this video. These instructions are awesome. So, um, other than that, uh, notes down below. Uh, feel free to uh, check those out, and let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do a overview of the parts. We'll go through every one of the major build steps and give you guys an idea of uh, how to put this thing together, and then we'll wrap it up at the end. So let's get started.
Okay, guys, that's going to do it. Came out great. Um, looking forward to putting it on the scene uh, with the other structures that we've got. Again, I want to thank uh, Wild West Scale Model Builders for allowing us to uh, show you guys these kit builds. And um, other than that, if you are interested in doing a craftsman kit, man, some of these kits are really, really good to start out with. I mean, this is just basically four walls and a shed behind it, so that would not be difficult. So uh, check them out. I'll leave all the notes below for their website, as well as all the materials that we used and um, glues and that type of stuff. So I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Happy modeling. And well, until next time, thanks for watching. See you guys.